Have you ever wondered how meteorologists predict the weather? Well, what if I told you predicting the weather started in 1861? The first person that made a weather forecast was Robert Fitzroy. He did this on the Dumont Television Network. You're probably thinking, how did they predict the weather before that? They did this by throwing a piece of grass outside to see which way it would blow. If it blew east, it would usually mean a storm was coming. As you can see, weather prediction was hard back then. But when technology came into play, it changed weather prediction in the biggest ways. When tools like the telegraph and telephone were invented, it made it much easier to predict weather from far away. Before these devices were invented, it was almost impossible to predict far away weather. I interviewed Cody Kirkpatrick, a professor at Indiana University, and he said that technology is the main reason for weather evolving and technology will continue to get better. In the 1920s, weather balloons, which would provide weather data such as temperature and wind at various levels of the atmosphere, were invented. By the late 1940s, the weather radar was launched. By the late 1980s, the Doppler radar was developed. The National Weather Service came up with a plan to set these radar sites up at different locations to provide nearly nationwide radar coverage. Now, you're probably wondering, what helps weathermen predict the weather? I bet you didn't know that the key factors for predicting the weather are air pressure, wind, weather patterns, humidity, the Doppler radar, and the radar. You're probably wondering, how can these things help the weathermen? Well, changes in the air pressure signal the movement of high or low pressure areas called fronts. If a high pressure system is coming, you can expect clear skies and cooler temperatures. The lower the air pressure, the worse the temperature. Were you surprised when I told you wind is a big factor for predicting the weather? Well, I was. Variations in large-scale wind circulation patterns are responsible for the daily weather we experience today. Another thing is wind carries moisture into the atmosphere, as well as hot or cold air into a climate which affects weather patterns. Weather patterns help weather forecasters predict the weather because if weathermen are seeing a common pattern, it will be easier to predict the weather for the day. For example, meteorologists are able to predict changes in the weather by using several different tools. Humidity helps the weathermen predict the weather because of the hydrometer. To test the humidity in the atmosphere, which helps forecast weather patterns, meteorologists use a hydrometer. Hydrometers either use a small metal coil, a liquid, or a condensation to measure the humidity. The Doppler radar is another key factor for predicting the weather. I interviewed CBS weatherman Jeff Baradelli. He said that the Doppler radar is very important because it gives a lot of information on objects that are really hard to see. Radar is a huge part in predicting the weather. Another thing that Cody Kirkpatrick said was the radar is one of the most important tools to predict the weather. Based on my research, I think the radar is one of the most important tools to predict the weather.